can be super overwhelming to start. Now we're talking about actually growing our wealth. So uh, investing in assets that produce income and, and maybe grow in value as well. Cool. So uh, in, in terms of investment, I've sort of learned about and looked into a whole heap of different things from Bitcoin to silver bars and different clients like different things. Um, so working with a whole, whole range of, of different tastes, uh, shares, managed funds, index funds, property, commercial property, all sorts of different stuff. Um, but it can be super overwhelming to start. So I, I wanna give you a bit of a framework that makes it a lot simpler to, um, to actually get your head around how you might want to invest. So <laughs> broadly speaking, I, I think that there's kind of two categories of, of investments. One is investing in businesses and one is investing in properties. So, and, and then in terms of the, the elements of those uh, business or property, you've got passive investments where you don't need to you know, have input for them to keep ticking along and then active investments. So an example of an active business investment for me is Inspire. So I'm actively working in it, growing the value, growing the profit. That's, that's the goal with my active business investment. Now a passive business investment is like shares. So a share in the Commonwealth Bank or CBA is actually owning a percentage of their business. And even if you own one share, you'll still get a, a very small percentage of their profit or a very small dollar amount of their profit um, paid to you each year. So CBA, you know, all the banks, or, or there's, there's you know, Woolies, Coles, you know, stuff you buy on the Australian Stock Exchange. That's what I consider investment, a passive investment in a business. Something you don't have to work in. Now, if we look at property, uh, a passive property investment would be a, an in, a rental property or an investment property. Now, yes, some people do take a bit of an active role in renovations or um, maybe they manage it themselves instead of appoint an agent. Um, but normally it just ticks along um, without you having to go and show up every day and say hi to the tenant. Um, versus a active property investment, which is more development. So working, you know, you might buy a, a block of land or a house um, and then swap it with townhouses or um, you know, do a splitter block, um, you know, a big block, whack a line down the middle and put two houses on it. You know, all, all sorts of different options there. But that, that to me is a active property investment. Um, so does that kind of make it easy to work out where you spend your time and energy? Yeah. Awesome.